Okay, I'm back again with another helpful video for those of you who have this antivirus soft program on their computer messing it up. Um, I don't exactly know how you get this virus. It just happened to be on my computer when I restarted it. Uh, my guess is that it was on there for a number of days or a number of weeks just lying in wait for the time to show itself and mess up my computer. So I decided to do that about an hour ago and the people that make these viruses are pretty simple. I mean, they do the same thing just about every time around. It's basically the same as my Internet Security 2010 problem. It's a fake antivirus program that's asking me to purchase it uh, while disabling various different features on my computer like the internet access, my security software, my antivirus software, uh, Windows Media Player, Real Player, some of my files and documents. I can't access any programs to uninstall this um, fake virus program. And that's pretty much what they all do. They've got a few subtle differences, but that's pretty much the same thing. And oddly enough, one thing I forgot to mention is that this happens just about every time when I do a Windows update, which is weird. Uh, I don't know if this is Microsoft's fault that they have some sort of security hole that these virus makers are getting through, but uh, when I got Internet Security 2010, it was right after an update, and this is less than 24 hours after I updated my computer. So that could be a problem uh, with a Microsoft security software. So what the virus looks like is, yes, you get a ton of pop-ups just like the uh, previous virus video I did, attention spyware alert, and you'll get these fake legitimate looking um, like antivirus or Windows uh, program icons down here. Just like this little green shield with the uh, check mark on it, if it'll focus. And you just get a barrage of uh, pop-ups that pop up all the time. You can't really X them out. But here's what the program looks like when it's running. Saying there are serious threats uh, detected on your computer. When they're actually not, this is just fake. Uh, no, purchase fuel version. Yes, continue protection. Uh, that's, that's this program's overall goal is to get you to buy this fake software. And what they probably really want to do is just steal your credit card number so they can run up, uh, you know, just tons of charges on your charge account. So what you want to do is if you can uh, hit anything that says stay unprotected or exit out. And what you want to do is you want to try to access your internet browser. So for this, I have Internet Explorer and Firefox. I'm going to try to access Firefox. And it allowed me to access it. If your computer does not allow you to access it, what you need to do is restart your computer in safe mode. And sometimes that's a problem doing that. You type in msconfig in your search bar down here in Windows Vista or your search tab in Windows XP. And if you can't type msconfig and run it, what you need to do is go on a separate computer. Like I have my uh, MacBook sitting off to the side right here. And you want to go to bleepingcomputer.com and you want to go to the uh, upper portion of the screen where it says spyware removal. Scroll down and find the anti spyware soft removal guide. And then that removal guide, you want to go to step eight. Step eight has this program called Archeo. What you want to do is you want to right click it, rename it something random, save it to a flash drive, plug it into your computer, and run it. And then try to access the internet on your computer so that you can do what I'm about to do now. So if you have internet access, uh, just go ahead and exit out all the stuff that's popping up on your screen. Go ahead and do a search for bleeping, B-L-E-E-P-I-N-G, computer. And it should be the search, uh, first search result. And like I said, for the uh, people who can access the internet, go ahead to this upper portion, find the spyware, remo spyware removal tab, and scroll down until you find the remove anti spyware soft uninstall guide. Go ahead and click that. And what you want to do right now, instead of following the guide, because it didn't work out well for me, 
is go directly down to this Archeo download. Do what I said, right click, save link as, and what you want to do is rename it something random. So I'm just going to type some random letter. Okay, that's good enough. And the reason you're doing this is so to fool the uh, anti spyware soft program because it recognizes programs like Archeo and malware bytes and disables those programs before you can even run them. So, as you can see, I'm running the program. Well, actually, running the downloader for it. Uh, it's taking a second to do it. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, that sped it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this random name program for Archeo that I did. And it's just going to automatically do its thing. You can see the black box where it's uh, stopping those processes from running. And what you'll notice instantly is that this white box comes up, tells you what it stopped. And the pop-ups are gone, the icon is gone, and now you can download malware bytes. So... Malwarebytes is the program at step 10. You just click on it and save file. You don't have to um, rename this file since the malicious program is already stopped now. And we're just going to go ahead and set this program up. let it run and what we're going to do after it finishes setting up is run a full system uh, system scan so what it's allowing me to do right now is update malware bytes and that's just what's going to happen there okay so I've already set it up I just clicked the button twice but after it finishes downloading the updates what you want to do is you want to run the uh, full system scan that should take anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour and I'll show you my results after I finish that in just a second okay so the program is fully updated and what we're gonna do is select this perform full scan and we're gonna go ahead and scan and it's gonna go ahead and fully scan the system again it should take between 30 minutes to an hour we're just going to select our C drive right now, which is your main hard drive, and we're going to scan that. Uh, my other drives are just like flash drives and external hard drives. So right now it is scanning my computer. should take 30 minutes to an hour, and I'll show you the results. Okay, so 43 minutes later, it finished scanning everything. Um, shows that I had 25 objects that were infected. I can show you the results right quick. And if you'll go back to that uh, page, if you want to, on bleepingcomputer.com, it will list these different items so that you can see exactly which files have to do with the um, spyware soft virus. Now, I don't know if all of these are just from spyware soft, or maybe these are some that I had um, on my computer already, but uh, it'll list all the little viruses that you have. And over on the left hand side you'll notice these little check boxes they're all checked uh, pre-selected already what you want to do is you want to go to this lower left hand corner press remove selected and it will go ahead and remove all of those different uh, viruses for you so you get a little pop-up with the notepad uh, just letting you know exactly what it removed and there's also a second message that says um, to restart your computer and then what you need to do is after that go ahead and recheck everything uh, go ahead and restart your computer look to see if any of those pop-ups come back up so thanks for watching see you guys later peace